Dragon Ball Fighters is a game that has so much love put into each and every one of their characters, so much so that it can be hard to go wrong with any of them. But this video is going to be taking a critical look at Cell and whether he's worth your time to play him or not. He is and you should play him. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Dotsodoy, if you enjoyed it, what's that? Uploading a 20 second video is bad for my account, makes it harder for people to see my videos, and I'm also the one whispering because I couldn't think of a good intro for this video. Oh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, we're finally here. After only two episodes in our Should You Play series, we've finally reached a top tier character. This makes it really easy for me to suggest him, but also makes it really hard to make this something worth watching. Let's just stick to the formula of covering the cons of the character first, then moving into what makes them good, and then we'll end it off by talking about where Cell fits in on a team. So what are the cons of Cell? Obviously, he's top tier for a reason. He doesn't have too many, but he does have some. I think. I hope. I'm buying time so I can find some here and... Oh! Cell doesn't have the greatest beam slash key blast game. Because of the way his work, he's not really able to control space or even pressure somebody from far away, as good as somebody as Super Saiyan Vegeta or even Krillin for that matter. I mean, don't even get me wrong, it's not like his key blasts are that bad. He also has a Kamehameha, which is extremely fast from the air and on the ground, but, you know, the key blast part is okay. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for Cell as far as cons in his gameplay goes. I mean, I guess you could say another con to choosing to main Cell would be that knowing Arc System Works is gonna come after you guys pretty soon. Another balance patch is bound to come to this game eventually, and when it does, I'm pretty sure Cell will be right in the middle of those crosshairs. With our admittedly short list of cons for Cell out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the real meat of this video, that being the pros of this character. I'm really not even joking when I say that there is a lot to go through here. We've got his amazing block strings, which are only made better through the use of adding on some assist. We have an extremely reliable level 1 super that can be performed anywhere, a simple beam level 3 that can be thrown in to get a hard knockdown in the corner, a crazy amount of mix-ups, and even in some scenarios, true 50-50 mix-ups, meaning the opponent just has to randomly choose if he's guarding left or right. I guess a good way to demonstrate it for you would be to pick up a coin right now anywhere around you. Now go ahead and flip that coin and guess while it's in the air. Go ahead and flip it over, and while you were doing that, I lost four games to Cell online because I guessed wrong. Cell also just has fantastic normals. Almost every button Cell has available to him is very useful in some situations. They all have great hitboxes, fantastic reach, convert easily into each other. Again, this brings us back to the fantastic block strings point I mentioned. You can mix them up very easily, you can stutter your offense, you can hit them with a low 2L. Man, it just feels like when you're guarding against this guy, it can be very oppressive. That's why in this next round, I'm not gonna guard anything. I'm just gonna go in there and I'm going to assert my dominance. Let's do this thing! I'm going to pause the video here because at this point, Cell has already killed this character. You see, by using his perfect attack in the beginning of a match, if he hits the opponent, Cell can very easily convert into a no-meter touch of death. Again, this character is really fantastic. I'm trying to stress that as much as I can here. And you know, there's a lot of things you can be salty about when playing against a really good Cell. The oppressive nature of his block strings, how good his combos are, or even how well he works with assists. Really what gets me so salty about Cell is that he's actually such a fun character. Usually in fighting games when there's a top tier character that all the pros are using, they're usually so lame, dude. But Cell has such cool combos, like his standard combo in the corner involves a lot of interesting loops. When you're pressuring someone on block, it's actually super fun with how basic it is. You can go high, low, mix it up, delay it. It's just, it's really fun. And I think that's the best way to describe Cell, a really fun character. That concludes the pros and cons for Cell. Let's go ahead and talk about where Cell fits on a team. So as I've been alluding to throughout this video, Cell's block strings are really good and they're only better with assists, which is why a lot of people run him on point. Along with the whole perfect attack touch of death thing, it makes him a really viable option to just go first with. Of course though, he is the definition of perfection, so putting him anywhere else on your team isn't a bad idea at all either, because his assist is actually really good as well. He can also just switch in whenever you want with your other point characters, so it's not like you're losing out on any of his benefits. Just because I've done in the last two videos, let's go ahead and talk about some teams you can use with Cell. You have Team Dominatrix, Team Bad Guys, Team Top Tier Bad Guys, and of course the I'm going to win this tournament and the prize money and nobody's going to stop me. At the end of the day, I think this video is kind of an exercise in futility. If you want to play Cell, there really is no reason not to. He's got all of the tools you could ever want, he's actually a pretty good introduction to the game if you're a beginner, he's super fun, and he's top tier. Go ahead, man, what are you- 
why are you watching this video? You could be winning Evo right now. Jokes aside though, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate that. Go ahead and let me know what you thought of the video and your opinion on sell down in the comments below. While you're down there, if you like these videos and want to see more like this from the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dr. Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.